opportunity to serve. That's all I wanted to do is serve the community to make it a better place for everyone. Cheryl McHenry, New Center 7. And we certainly thank Judge McCollum for all that she's done for this community. Alice McCollum still plans to be actively involved in the area. She's on the governing board of her church and has an eight-year-old grandson to help keep her busy. And now, your Storm Center 7 forecast with Chief Meteorologist McCall Brydags. McCall, everyone just keeps saying, are you ready? Are you ready? Because we have some cold weather on the way. You know, and I think it's funny because uh, when you talk about chilly temperatures like we have in the forecast, yeah, it seems like a shock for us in the Miami Valley. But you came from Wisconsin. I don't understand why you just think it is so cold. Yeah, I came from Wisconsin and I moved down here and I was delighted that I didn't have to deal with those single-digit temperatures anymore. And then, suddenly, this weekend's about to pop up and ruin all that. Oh, yeah. Duh, sub-zero wind chill. So, you're welcome, Thank Molly. you. Thank you for that. Thank you. <laughs> We're going to want to stay inside, that's for sure, in that long-range forecast. But first, let's talk about what you can expect for tomorrow. Quite seasonable, just a little bit below average. When we look at our current temperatures, as we step out the door tomorrow morning, we'll be right around 15 degrees. You factor in that wind, and the wind chill will be sitting in the single digits, so dress warmly. But we will enjoy a lot of sunshine again for tomorrow afternoon. So, much like today sunny skies temperatures just shy of where we should be around 36 degrees is our typical high we're getting up to about 30 tomorrow it will be a cold day as i mentioned but plenty of sunshine thursday we'll watch some rain that develops later in the day may mix briefly at times but generally a chilly rain and may end with a few flurries for us on friday with some colder air that settles in but that's not the blockbuster cold we'll talk about that in just a couple of moments let me take you through future cast we have two systems that are going to pass through the first one is that chilly rain that comes in late thursday so i start out here at 8 a.m thursday morning we're quiet in the miami valley get you in closer to home and you'll notice at 3 p.m some showers start to push in from the west We'll track those showers into the evening. Temperatures may briefly drop off just enough that we see some snow showers trying to mix in. They're 7 p.m. But as we get into the rest of the night, it should be primarily rain, steady at times as well. In early Friday, whatever is left over may end briefly as some light snow, and then it kicks off to the east, and we'll have a cloudy to mostly cloudy sky for the rest of your Friday. That's system one. Now let's talk about system two, and this is the one that's going to bring about that bitterly cold air. Here's 8 a.m. on Saturday. We are quiet. As we head into the afternoon hours, we'll see perhaps some breaks in sun for some sunshine. Notice the time stamp there at 5.30. After midnight, Saturday night, some snow showers begin to push in, and we'll be tracking some light snow, a light accumulation possible by Sunday morning. Right now I'm seeing about one or two inches potentially. It doesn't look like a very high snowfall like last weekend, but certainly I'll keep an eye on that as we get closer. Then for the second half of Sunday, we'll go dry, and we'll stay that way for the rest of your Sunday. But with that second system that comes through, the chilly air that we have in place now is going to be replaced by some Arctic air that settles in. This is a piece of the polar vortex. While we don't get to the heart of the polar vortex cold, it's close enough by that it's going to bring our temperatures well below seasonal norms. Highs on Saturday 27, that system comes through, and then our highs are only in the teens for Sunday and Monday. And check out these wind chills. As we get into late Sunday, we fall below zero, and then wind chills by Monday morning. We're talking 10 to 15 below zero in the northern Miami Valley. Below zero everywhere throughout your Monday. So there's the five-day forecast. That chance for some showers late Thursday, a few flurries Friday, and then that next system over the weekend. Molly? That far below zero just feels unnecessary. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? It certainly does. A new series of presentations aimed at teaching Ohioans about black historical figures. We'll walk you through the first event and what organizers hope to achieve. 